Good morning, good morning, guys. We are getting ready to go wash the truck. We were planning on going out this morning, but uh, we did not get a uh, load out this morning. So, uh, well, that gives us time to go wash the truck and take care of some business. So, let's go ahead and wash the truck and see what she looks like later. I might give you a, a I show here right now on what it looks like right now. I know I got a truck running right now. Well, here in the back it doesn't look too bad, right? But look at this stuff over here. There's a lot of bugs over here and uh, a lot of stuff looks ugly. <laughs> yeah, look at the front. Look at all these bugs that they got on here. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that terrible or what? But, hey, you know what else happened? We, uh, have a look at that. We got the truck uh, air leak fixed there yesterday afternoon, as I told you guys, that I was going to hurry up and get down there and get it fixed, hopefully. And, uh, what happened, uh, I got home about uh, 5.30 in the afternoon yesterday, and uh, I just parked the truck right here in my driveway. It didn't run all day, all night. And we got, well, about 10 minutes before 12 o'clock, I, uh, I went and started the truck. And I checked my air pressure, and I was still sitting at 90 PSI. And I checked my airbags underneath the bunk, and they're no longer empty. You guys probably remember the ones that have been with me for a long time. Uh, I've been working on these air leaks all summer long. And we couldn't figure out why I had this problem with my airbags dropping in my uh, underneath my bunk, you know. And I think we have finally found the hose that was causing it to drain all the time. And what the problem was is uh, there is a little O-ring uh, where, like these Volvos, they got these quick connectors. And maybe I'll show you guys later later on when I open up the hood or whatever, you know and uh, you just push the hose in and that piece will actually hold it in there from uh, from the hose to come out but apparently there's a little o-ring in there well not apparently there is an o-ring in there and the o-ring on that particular hose was so hard and everything and old it had actually broken into a couple of pieces already so we had to go in there with a really fine tool and dig it out of there well, the mechanic did there I was just standing and watching there and uh, he put a new uh, uh, o-ring in it our problem is fixed man I am so happy that my airbags were up this morning you wouldn't believe it I've been working so hard at trying to get that all under control you know and it is finally under control but hey let's get our way down to uh, to the truck wash we don't have our kids uh, at home this uh, weekend we are kids free this weekend and so me and the wife are going to go wash the truck get some uh, quality time together me and the wife so anyways let's go do that alrighty guys she is looking pretty fine I think it just uh, started raining here after I came home it's still drizzling a little bit but look at that that's uh, that's a lot better, eh? There is no more bugs on there and everything. She looking pretty good, I think. But we got herself a good rain. That is for sure. But uh, yeah, she's looking pretty damn good. And uh, I'm very happy that we was able to fix that uh, air leak uh, that we was having. And stuff like that. So, uh, But uh, when I came home, I discovered another problem. And that was, uh, I had a squealing going on somewhere there in the front and I checked it out and it was uh, uh, the belt tensioner, the bearings were shot on it. So I guess when I uh, washed it off really good, I guess the little tiny bit of grease or whatever was in there, I guess disappeared and, and caused the, uh, the bearing to go dry. So it was squealing pretty good, my fan belt there. So. It, called my mechanic I said do you have a, a belt tensioner and he said oh yeah yeah we got them yeah oh yeah no problem so okay I said well can you guys replace it no we have no time he said we we're, we're fully booked up so I said okay well how about I take it off and I come over there and get me the part and I put it back on myself and 
yeah, no problem. So I went over there and tch, he didn't have the part. Well, he said he took a look at it. He took a look at it and uh, he said, uh, I can change that bearing. I said, oh really, that would be awesome. He said, sure. So I get on it right away. So he changed the bearing on it and uh, hey, now it's working good. No more squealing. It was squealing a little bit at the beginning, but I guess it was because it was, uh, everything is so tight, you know, the bearings are still tight and everything. So it took a little bit for it to, uh, took a few turns before it uh, quieted her down, but now she's nice and quiet again. And as you guys know, I was gonna go out even this morning. We didn't get a load, so we was hoping we were gonna get a load tomorrow and uh, nothing sounds like no short trip for us so i told him all right well if there ain't no short trips i said then at least give me a long one i don't want to sit at home the whole weekend and not get any miles you know so fortunately it looks like my wife ain't going to be able to come on a trip with me but uh, hey guess what we are going to go to winnipeg and have a good time anyways no matter what because the kids are all uh, at the babysitter so just me and the wife at home. So what we have decided is uh, probably go to dinner somewhere, have a nice dinner, and maybe have a movie night or something like that. Have like a date night, take care of business. Yeah, so uh, anyways, I'm gonna go take me a shower and get ready for dinner or get ready for the evening. Well guys, we are in Winnipeg at the restaurant. Yeah, we're gonna go inside and have a good bite to eat at the keg that's the restaurant we have chosen still drizzling a little bit looks like it's pretty dark over there looks like we might be getting hammered here a little bit with rain but we're gonna go inside and have a good bite to eat so we'll see you all a little bit later well guys it's the next morning here or well I guess it's in the afternoon already but <laughs> I hadn't put a closure in for uh, yesterday's video or I guess you could say today's video because you're watching it at the same time right but anyways it's the next day and uh, hey we had ourselves an awesome 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 evening we had a really really nice dinner me and the wife together and after that we went and watched a movie we watched the uh, transponder, transporter, not transponder. We watched the transporter, the new one that just come out. And it was really good actually. Yeah, I like his movies. He's always got some good movies. And so we got home like at 1.15 in the morning. <laughs> Cause we, uh, you know, we went to Winnipeg and it's an hour drive from over there to go back home. So. So yeah, uh, it was quite late when we got home, but that's all right. We had no kids at home today, so we could sleep in, right? But anyways, that's about all I got. So we will see you guys again tomorrow. Have a good one. <laughs>